What's going on guys, Jason Moss here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to white label your Go High Level account, okay? So I use Go High Level for quite a bit of um, different things in my agency, and having it white labeled is very important because you don't necessarily want clients to know that they're using high level. They just want to, uh, you want them to think that they're using your software. So that's the whole point in white labeling it. So essentially, instead of your clients going to app.gohighlevel.com, all right, they'll go to app.mostech.org or app.yourwebsite.com, whatever you want it to be, okay? So here's how you do it. Go High Level makes it pretty simple. Um, once you are in your account here, you're going to be in the agency section of it. Okay, so not in a location section, but in the agency section, you're going to come down to settings, all right, and then scroll on down, and you're going to find an area here uh, called white label domain. Very, very simple. All right, and you can see I already have it set up here, and you can choose whatever you want for um, the prefix. So I, I'm just gonna name it app because app's easy, but you can make it whatever you want. And then this, of course, is my domain. So how do you do this? Okay, well, you're going to edit your DNS records, okay? Whoever your DNS provider is. Now, here's how you figure that out. If you have a website, okay, um, like mostech.org is an actual website, okay? Your DNS provider will be the host that you're using for your website, all right? It won't, it won't be where your domain is registered, okay? If you do not have a website on the domain, so let's say you just went to like a godaddy.com, you bought a domain, and you don't have a website on it, okay? Then GoDaddy will be your DNS provider. Um, or if you bought your domain at Namecheap and you have no website, Namecheap will be your DNS provider, okay? But if you have a website, whoever your host is, that's your DNS provider, okay? Now, my website, mostech.org, is uh, hosted by my favorite host, which is WPX Hosting. So I'll show, show you what you do. It's very, very simple. I'm in here, as you can see, I'm in the edit DNS section. I've selected my domain, mostech.org, and all you do is you add a new record. Now this is very similar um, with WPX and GoDaddy, Namecheap. It, it's all kind of the same thing. You're gonna have a host record, you're gonna have the host, and then you're gonna have the target or the value, um, and then I forget what this even stands for, but you can just leave it blank. Okay, so your host here is gonna be a CNAME record. All right, so you simply just select CNAME, and then the host, all right, you can see they've already put it in here for me. Depending on who you're doing it with, they might not put your domain at the end. You might have to type that in itself. If you have trouble, whoever your DNS provider is, you can use their support, and they'll guide you along through this. It's, it's very, very simple. I've I have no way of telling you how to do it on every single you know, provider. There's thousands out there. So I'm gonna grab this real quick. All right, so the host, all right, is gonna be whatever you want the subdomain to be, um, you know, the prefix, I should say. So I'm gonna name it app, but remember you can name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna select this entire thing. This is, this is what points back to high level to make it show up. So the value goes in here, all right? You drop that. This always stays the same in the value, the target area. The host, remember, can be anything. It could be app. It could be, um, it, it could be whatever. It could be just a, an initial. It could be M. Um, it, it could be, uh, whatever it could be you know wherever you want your clients to go to sign in name it whatever easiest thing to do is just name an app so all your clients are gonna go to app.yourwebsite.com okay so very very simple like I said you can leave this blank whatever the default is leave it blank 
and then you hit save record and that's it it's very very simple just make sure it's a c name name it whatever you want and then always points to that okay that this is what makes it show up this is high levels uh domain okay now i already have it set up because as you can see over here app.mostech.org all right pops up perfectly fine also because they're signing in on your um, domain now you want to update your terms and conditions and then your logo okay so if you come back over to high level all right the privacy policy url is what changes that link on here on the terms and conditions um, so that's very simple and then of course your logo um, I need to fix the logo that's why it's not showing up quite there um, I think I have the wrong size in here but yeah very very simple that is how you white label uh, your go high level account very very simple um, if you have trouble with it just ask your DNS provider your host or the domain just say hey I need to put these records in I need to make this C name record can you help me and they should help you with that it's very very simple but I'm sure if you watch this video you'll be able to do it if you have any other questions about high level about anything else in your business feel free drop a question below um, hit that like button if this was helpful please hit that subscribe as well it really helps out the channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks